Hey, what's up everyone? Got my box of fun in front of me. But I gotta tell you, this was a bit of an ordeal. I mean, it was hard to get to begin with. They sold out fast. Lots of collectors wanted these boxes. And I'm actually happy that Funko didn't go crazy and make like eight mascots, right? Double the boxes. Because they could have. And they would have sold out just the same. So at least the box of fun is still sacred, right? In that regard. Still a somewhat rare collectible. But I was supposed to get this yesterday, but I got an email from UPS saying they couldn't access my location. I'm guessing the guy just ran out of time. And that they dropped it at a UPS access point, which is a Michaels in my area. And Michaels, if you don't know, is like where you go buy crafts and art supplies and like fake flowers and shit like that. And I get another email saying it was received at the access point by Christine. So I'm like, okay, let me go pick it up. I get there, and of course, you know, they're looking through their little cubby there by the front desk. Oh, sir, it's not here, I don't know. And I'm like, look, it's not one of those little envelopes, it's a box box. So she looks again. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have it. And I show her, I'm like, look, is this not the address of this place here? I show her the UPS email. And does a Christine not work here? And as soon as I said Christine, like I could tell in her face. She was like, oh, I mean, she didn't out and out say yes. But she was like, yeah, um, yeah, I agree. It should be here. Let me look a little harder. So they go to the back and like 10 minutes go by and I'm getting real nervous. But they finally come out the back with my box. Super annoying, super stressful. And I will note that in the email from UPS, it said it was left at the front desk. And the front desk is right where the UPS access point is. So I guess they walked it all the way to the back, left it there. And I guess later on in the day, they're going to bring it all the way back to the front to leave it at the UPS access point locker. I don't know how it all works. I don't know how accurate it is that they left it at the front desk. Still super annoying. And what's even more annoying is that my box has a big huge dent on it. So hopefully that didn't transfer over to my box of fun. But anyway, I got killer clowns. Let's see what my Freddy Funkos are. You know, and I will note that there's probably no foul play going on, but it would be nice if Funko didn't put what's exactly in the box on the outside for everybody to see. Like if somebody's just a little bit savvy, they'll know what's in here. And maybe, you know, things grow legs. I don't know. <sighs> so it did transfer over. So yeah, I mean, Funko did double box it, right? I mean, guess triple box. But look at this shit. So obviously whatever's in this corner is damaged. So annoying. And I will note too that Funko, they should have shrink wrapped these, to be honest. Shrink wrap them with the shrink wrap that has logos like card companies do. It can't be that expensive. And look at this little way, like, look at this tiny little sticker they use, this little tiny seal. It reminds me of when GameStop first got some of their very first mystery boxes and they were sealed like this, I think, but loose enough where people could just open it like this and look at what's inside. And all the GameStop managers got all the chases. <laughs> I remember even going back and one of the managers was all, hey man, you collect Funko Pops, right? You know, you can pre-order them here, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, I'm talking about like five, six years ago. So still really new, right? Like new in that people were actually talking about Funko Pops to begin with. And he's all, yeah, yeah, man, I, I collect them too. And he shows me a picture of his collection. And I see like all five of, I think there were gold chases at the time. I see all five of the chases in his collection. Um, and he's the GameStop manager. I was like, are you kidding? But it had these type of stickers on it. Pretty lame. Anyway. I'm gonna take the damaged one out last. So first up, one that I definitely wanted. That is Freddy Funko as Darth Maul. A little bit of scuffing on my window here. Small little indentation. Not bad, the box is in decent shape, thank goodness, because I'm guessing this is probably gonna be my most valuable one. But yeah, Darth Maul, Freddy Funko. 
Looks really cool. 4,000 pieces. I know there's... I believe a glow-in-the-dark one for 2,000. Didn't get that one, but this is good enough. This is awesome. This is one of the better ones in the box, I believe. And my mascot, Killer Crowns. Really cool looking, really colorful. Definitely my favorite of the mascots. And I want to say that I really do like the box design. Kind of funny on these ones. It has the black light box design, even though it's not, you know, black light. Still pretty cool. So, Killer Crowns. And I also got Prince Adam, which isn't one of the ones I really wanted. But I think I can probably trade this one. Slight damage here. Not too bad. But yeah, Prince Adam. And lastly, Thor, but... It was in the corner here. Hard to tell because of the pattern on this box, but my Thor, unfortunately, is pretty damaged. Totally sucks, but it is a cool one. Out of the box pop now, I guess. And that is Freddy Funko as Thor. So I didn't get any super rare ones, but... I did get one of the ones I wanted the most, which was this Freddy Funko as Darth Maul. So very happy with that. Happy with my mascot. Um, out of the ones that I did get, I'm kind of happy that the one that did get damaged... I mean, I don't want it to get damaged, but the one that did get damaged is the Thor, which is the one that I would want the least. Even though, I mean, I like it better than this one, but my friend wants this one, so maybe he'll trade me um, for something that he got. Alright guys, so Box of Fun for me this time was very nice, but a little aggravating. And Box Damage, of course, sucks, but what you're gonna do? Half of Funko Pop collecting is, uh, aggravation.